got Captain Redbeard, horse number two. Take number three out. Four is Bally Bolly, who's defending his title here this afternoon. Monetaire for David Pipe and Tom Scudamore. No planning is horse number six, a seven to one chance. Easy Street for Aidan Coleman and John Joe O'Neill at nines. Morning Reggie is eight. Chanunos is number nine for Barry Geraghty. Broke his arm on, his, on this horse a while back for Tom George again, six to one. Ulan Butz is a 25 to one chance, number 10. Airlight Supreme, 16 to one. Mungo's debut for Derek Fox and Lucinda Russell, who won the Grand National last Saturday. 13 doesn't go, Luke Harvey. Can Ch Bally Bolly defend that title? No, I, I fancy Chernernos down the bottom, the horse that you're talking about. Uh, Barry Goatee would be delighted to remind everyone about the <laughs> horse breaking his arm. But no, Tom George's horse have been in good form. They have been throughout the season. Um, and this horse has come right down in the weights. It looks as though they've been looking for a plan with this lad. Valuable race like this. And uh, he's a confident selection. Tom George has had five winners in recent weeks. Who do you like, Mick? I. I just think that John Joe's horse here will, will actually run OK. He's in the other colours here today, easy streets. And, and Bally Bowley, he looked like his run at Kempton might just sharpen him up a little bit. It'll need to. He looked slow at Kempton last time. If he's sharp, and can he do what he did here last year in this race? There's the betting. Some buckle the 4-1 to one favourite, Bally Bowley, 9-2. If you're on easy street, look out. Change of cap in the green and gold quartered cap, second colours of J.P. McManus. It looks like they're set to go at Haydock. Your commentator there this afternoon will be Stuart Machen ahead of an intriguing afternoon with finals galore to look forward to. £50,000 up for grabs in every race. The first one is this challenger middle distance chase, chases and hurdles today. Let's hand you over to the track and join Stuart Machen. Start is ready for them now. Flags are raised, so walking in for the opener. And the field of 11 advancing on the tapes. And they're off at a race over two and a half miles. The Challenger Middle Distance Chase Series final. First of the valuable prizes up for grabs this afternoon on Merseyside. And the field of 11 over the first with Bally Bowley, last year's winner in the centre in the shades of green prominent with a white faced pair of Ulan Butte pink sleeves and the spotted sleeves of Captain Redbeard in behind and fence to the first of the ditch. is an easy street giving a bit of a thump at the back of the field now in that quartered cap of uh, green and yellow. Into the first turn then and it's Bally Bowley and Daryl Jacob leading up in their bid for a repeat success in this contest with Ulan Butte close up in second and then no planning who adopts a prominent position a pale jacket around the inside tracked by Captain Redbeard the grey morning Reggie on the inner of the nose banded Airlight Supreme in a pink jacket followed by Mumgo's debut in the shades of blue in the hands of Grand National winning jockey Derek Fox he's got some buckle on the far side tracked by Easy Street Monetaire, meanwhile, in the bay sleeves on the near side, and a bad mistake by Airlight Supreme, who's unseated at the third. Kernanos, meanwhile, a Barry Geraghty with a white cap, uh, way to the extreme left of the group, weighted with in rear. Fence four is the second of the ditches. Bally Bowley jumping well with the now riderless Airlight Supreme in amongst horses. And towards the rear, Mumgo's debut and Easy Street briefly had a bit of a coming together. Bally Bowley leading halfway up the straight the first time. To Ulan Butte and no planning, Captain Redbeard, they round out the leading quartet. Monetaire on the near side, followed by the grey morning Reggie. And then the nose bandit, Sun Buckle, Adrian Heskin in the pearl blue jacket, got three behind, Easy Street, Kernanos and Mumgo's debut of those. And fence six is the last of the fences up the straight the first time. All over that one uh, safely enough, and still the uh, riderless airline supreme races deep in the middle of the pack looking back down the course Tom O'Brien walked away from the landing side of that early fence and on the worse circuit to travel then lengthy run to the first the fences in the back straight mum goes debut at the back of the field is one of the first off the bride he's being ridden along and he's just in danger of being cast adrift behind the others who are still led by Bally Bowley and Ulan Butte 
Captain Redbeard is just third and then no planning the pale jacket with the attentions of the loose horse. Couple of lengths the grey morning Reggie from Monetaire. Another two lengths to Sunbuckle in the sheepskin noseband. Then the McManus pair of Easy Street and Kernanos Whitecap. And a break of four or five lengths to Mumgo's debut as they progress to the first of five fences across on the far side. Ali Bowley and Ulan Butte with the riderless airlight supreme joining in. Just running across in front of the field, hopefully gets out of the way before they get to the next plane fence. Looks as though he's going to do so. Bally Bowley, Ulan Butte. Monetaire on the far side is inching a bit closer to them. Mistake in rear from Mumgo's debut is becoming increasingly remote. And Geraghty's just nudging away for half a dozen strides on Kernanos, white cap. As they enter the last mile of the race, Bally Bowley from Ulan Butte, Monetaire. No planning, Captain Redbeard close up in fifth place under young Sam Coulthard. Then a couple lengths, the grey morning Reggie from Sunbuckle, Kernanos, Easy Street. And Mungo's debut are tailed off at the back of the field as they move on towards the only other one on the far side. An ultimate dish coming up to them. It's the thick end of three quarters of a mile from home, and Bally Bowley continues to jump soundly out in front. He led by a couple of lengths there. A few of these are more firmly off the bridle. No planning is being driven along. The grey morning Reggie beginning to struggle. There's been no show at all from Kernanos. Geraghty's more animated still. Easy Street's also being ridden along. And it's Bally Bowley who leads them out of the back straight. A Ulan Butte around the end. A monetaire, though, in the hands of Tom Scudamore. Close up in third. Then a couple of lengths to Captain Redbeard with some buckle easing past no planning. Easy Street Morning Reggie next clear of Kernanos and Mumgo's debut. And Bally Bowley still travels powerfully. Daryl Jacobs sitting quietly in front as they uh, draw towards four out. Bally Bowley gets over it about four clear. He's got the loose horse alongside him. Captain Redbeard under pressure has stayed on into second. Monetaire having travel well hasn't picked up. He's weakened out of contention as the nose bandit Sunbuckle on the left closes in. And there Bally Bowley was impeded by the loose horse. He ran right across in front of him. He's now managed to get out of his way. Captain Redbeard is inching ever closer. He's only ridden so to do. And then some buckle back in third. And still Bally Bowley travels powerfully at the second last. A spring-heeled leap there. He came away from it with a five to six length advantage. So Bally Bowley in his bid for a repeat success in this valuable prize. Clear in the hands of Daryl Jacob. An ever-widening marching back to Captain Redbeard. Bally Bowley is safely over the last. Captain Redbeard took it in second. Some buckle in third, then Ulan Butte and Monetaire, but they're coming home by uh, wide margins, and 12 months on, it's Bally Bowley again for Daryl Jacob, a 94th winner of the season for trainer Nigel Twist and Davis. Bally Bowley has run them ragged to win. Captain Redbeard in second, some buckle in third, and Ulan Butte was back in fourth. And that brings back memories of Bristol Demai and the Peter Marsh, a rout in the double green. They didn't have much